Do you want to know how to create an action in Photoshop? It's basically your actions uh, panel over here to the right. You can get it by going up to Windows and Actions if it's not already selected. The Actions functionality is great in the sense if you're doing something over and over again, rather than having to continually go through the steps, you just record it and then run the action. So I'll show you how to create one. First thing, you need to have, of course, a folder to put the action in. Uh, by default, you're going to have these default actions ones. These are a couple I downloaded, and this is my most used ones. If not, you can just hit the little folder button down here, create new action set. Select your new action, and it's going to ask you for a name. I'm going to name it Sepia because that's what it is. You then can select which folder you want it to go into, defaults uh, or whatever you've named it. I'm just going to choose defaults. Next up, you can do the option of putting a function key with it if you'd like. If you do this action often, you put a function in order to just hit the key and it'll automatically run the action. In this case, I'm not going to do that, but that's how that would work. And of course, you can color code it if you want. At this point, you simply hit record. And now it's going to start recording. You can see we've got the little red dot highlighted. It's going to be recording everything that I do on the screen. So all I'm going to do now is create my action. And I'm not going to show you all of these steps because I've already done a tutorial on how to do sepia toning. And if you'd like, you can just watch that tutorial. All right, now I've gone through all of my steps in order to create my sepia tone. And if you see in the action windows, it's been recording that. So it went under the name, went through the conversion modes, make adjustments, in essence, everything that I did in order to turn this into what I wanted it to be. From there, you then hit the stop button and it saves it at that. Let's see how it worked. So I'm going back to my original image. I now select my sepia action and I hit the play icon here and now it's going to run through all of those steps really quickly and notice I've got a sepia toned image. I'm going to show you one last thing here. So I had a created one. Notice I've got the control plus F2 here. That's that function that I was telling you about. So if you want to pre-program something into it that'll let you do that, that's how that would work. All right, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, share with your friends, you know, whatever.